Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have me, the Rhino. We're going to be drinking a beer from Belgium. This is 6.5% alcohol by volume. This is from St. Fulian. It is Belgian Farmhouse Ale. St. Fulian Saison. Oh, Saison. Uh, this Saison actually sits for a long time. It's best before... Um, August 9th, 2015. So, yeah. You could sit on this for over a year right now if you wanted to age it. When it was bottled, I don't know. That isn't on here. Product of Belgium contains malted barley. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe under this sticker is the brood on date, but this sticker is the LCBO sticker. Um, yeah. No actual brood on date, so I don't know if this is fresh or if it is aged a little bit. All I know is that it's good for another full year. There's a lot of smoke in that neck. It's just billowing out. Oh, oh, the beer's about to billow out with it. bad looking beer. Um, I tried to pour very gently, but um, I waited too long. My neck had this much head in it already when I started pouring. I was just uh, lost on the... Uh, I was lost on the smoke billowing out. Let's get all the yeast sediments in my glass too. Alrighty, so... Nice big bubbles on that head. Almost, almost reminds me of a of a Duvel in the glass. Duvel's just a little bit cloudier. Head's a little bit bigger. Head lasts a lot longer too. This head's fading because it really wasn't meant to be that heady. But I'm glad I picked an oversized goblet for this beer because um, yeah, that head was mighty. It was mighty. Looks beautiful though. I mean. Look at what's going on in there. Look at that. Smell. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> okay. Now, usually, I like the smell out of the bottle better. This time, not so much. Out of the bottle? kind of smells like a barnyard. You get that like ammonia scent from, from animal urine. Wet hay, all that sort of stuff. Ammonia scent. Farmyard scent from the farmhouse ale out of the bottle. Out of the glass. Delicate notes of lemon. Delicate notes of lemon, some cilantro, uh, a bit of, bit of orange peel. I'm not getting the pepper scent that I get on a lot of them. Uh, I usually get white pepper on saisons. I'm not getting white or black pepper on it. Again, I'm getting uh, cilantro, lemon, orange, and a bit of clove. Let's try it. Cheers. Ooh. Now that's interesting. I still can't believe that smell out of the bottle. It's bad. Out of the glass, it's beautiful. Out of the bottle, I just don't. I don't like that. Mm. Every sip makes me like the beer a little bit more, though. <sighs> nice, slight touch of clove. Slight touch of lemon, slight touch of orange, um, coriander, not cilantro, once you're tasting it. Same plant, I know, slightly different taste. Um, 
a nice mild bitterness on the background, a nice weedy, grainy taste on the forefront. Yeah, it's it's a very weedy taste actually. Um, it lasts in the middle too. The middle, the middle's kind of tasteless except for that weedy graininess. And a touch of cinnamon too in there. And I don't taste nutmeg, but nutmeg does um, clam up my palate. Kind of, it kind of clogs up my palate, and it, my palate's getting that weird uh, nutmegish sensation. <sighs> Not a bad saison at all, and I mean. It's not overcloved, a lot of saisons are. It's not overpeppered, a lot of saisons are. It doesn't taste like they're using a bunch of bread in it. Uh, they might have used some bread as their as their yeast, but it's not. It's not. It doesn't have the normal bread funk to it. <sighs> kind of gassy though. Not a bad beer, all in all. I'll give it a 6.75 out of 10. Um, for me, just not a standout beer. Uh, if I was going to drink a Saison right now, I'd probably go with a Bellwood Saison or with Block 3's Saison. Um, partially because they're both Canadian, so I'm supporting local. Well, they're both from Ontario, so I'm supporting local. But because their Saisons are just as good as most of the ones we can get here in Belgium. We'll get here from Belgium, you know, we'll get here from Europe in general. Uh, we don't get everything from Europe, so there's probably a lot of amazing saisons over there. I'm just saying for what what's available over here and uh, price point and everything else, I'd go with a Bellwoods or a uh, or the Block 3 one. The Block 3 one, I think, is the best bang for your buck, where it's under, well, I think it's $5 for 650 or 500 milliliter. Maybe a little less. I don't even remember. I'd have to watch the video and remember what their prices are. I think they're just under five dollars. It might be four fifty. Uh, best bang for your buck, though, at a craft brewery in Ontario in big bottles. Um, like this was. This was three ninety five. What was it two ninety? Ah, oh, fuck! I don't even remember now. I'll have to look it up too. This was either just under. This was either three dollars or four dollars for the bottle. Um, I don't think I bought anything that was under three ninety five, so I'm guessing this was four, but it might have been two ninety five because it's a three thirty. But what I'm saying is, three or four dollars for this versus five dollars for something this size. The tastes the same. Which one am I going to do? I'm going to uh, support local over that. Uh, again, good beer, six seven five out of ten. Just. Uh, Nothing I can't get here. Thank you.